every human on this planet has fundamental rights. The rights to healthcare, education, employment, and shelter, alongside civil and political freedoms, are all values that need protecting. These traditional basic needs have been officially declared as human rights in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Sadly, not all nations uphold these rights. Some even deny them. That's where People in Need comes in, a non-governmental organization delivering humanitarian and development aid. We help people in war zones, living in areas of high poverty, or affected by natural disasters. We also address long-term problems, including the lack of access to education, healthcare, and environmental degradation, all of which are humanitarian and development challenges, but also fundamentally human rights issues. The shift in humanitarian and development aid's objectives from fulfilling basic needs to upholding human rights is often referred to as the Human Rights-Based Approach, or HRBA, to humanitarian and development, which People in Need is pursuing. HRBA applies human rights principles to the everyday work of development and humanitarian assistance. The approach is anchored on the understanding that all societies have a set of human rights which citizens are entitled to. These rights, like the right to life, can sometimes get neglected. This could be due to political reasons, because governments lack the capacities to deliver on their human rights commitments, or people are not fully aware or capable of exercising their human rights. At Penn, we see a solution. We believe that sustainable development and humanitarian efforts should create systems in which governments are able to deliver on their human rights commitments. Rights holders, people, should know their rights and claim them from their governments, duty bearers. Likewise, duty bearers should fulfill their obligations to protect rights. All this can be done by empowerment and capacity building under national, regional, and international human rights frameworks. How do we do it? Through four principles. Applying all rights, non-discrimination and equality, participation and inclusion, and accountability and rule of law. In particular, applying all rights emphasizes that human rights are universal for all human beings. The denial or neglect of one right affects the full enjoyment of other rights. Likewise, the realization of one right may depend on the realization of other rights. In order to be fully effective, humanitarian and development programs should address the interdependence of all the human rights at stake. These principles make HRBA different from traditional charity or needs-based models. Assistance now is provided because the community has the right to such service, and not because the community needs it or because it feels right to do so. A good example is access to water or sanitation. A charity model organization would only dig wells or build latrines. A needs-based model would only promote changes in sanitation and hygiene practices. HRBA encourages citizens to demand sanitation services as a constitutional right to clean water and sanitation. By doing so, supported citizens feel more empowered to claim ownership of local development, while local authorities feel obliged to deliver on their constitutional commitments, and thus development assistance becomes more sustainable.